All right. Uh, very good afternoon to all of you, dear students. I hope that uh, you all are uh, staying safe at home. And uh, welcome to our uh, topic of next experiment, which is experiment number seven. And the uh, title of this experiment is to perform dot ELISA. So, students, I hope that in your immunology class, uh, Dr. Shelly has already informed related to several techniques which is associated with your immunology. So the technique which you are going to perform in this experiment is actually a kind of biochemical technique that is utilized in immunology. So um, I hope that you all are very much familiar with the technique of ELISA now. Uh, even then I'll let you know a brief about it. ELISA, right? Enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. So enzyme link is the first word where definitely our enzyme is going to be linked with uh, our antibody and you know that as all of the techniques associated with immunology is a kind of interaction between antigen and antibody. This I have already discussed so many a times in your classes of lab. Um, so uh, dot ELISA is just a, one such lab experiment where we are again going to use a kit in this kit since the results will be observed as in the form of dots at the end onto the strips hence this is called as dot ELISA I am repeating again the results you will be observed at the end of the experiment will be in the form of colored dots on the strips provided in the kit so let us talk something about what exactly ELISA is so it is also known as enzyme immunoassay um, so this enzyme uh, linkage is something new that you are studying in immunology during the interaction of antigen and antibody. So an enzyme and a substrate is always involved here. That is why you call it as enzyme link. So uh, actually what happened is that uh, what is this kind of assessment here you can either assess antigen or antibody also. So because both of them have the ability to bind with each other. So uh, when you may perform this experiment, you will see that in this, the different kind of apparatus is being used. So one such new apparatus you are going to use in this experiment is ELISA reader and ELISA titer plate. I'll, I'll show you the images of that later on. So in this case, what you are going to do is that the, um, in either, either an antigen or an antibody is being detected. Apart from that, um, at the end, if you want to see that the interaction of antibody has been taken place with antigen, so that interaction has to be observed by our naked eyes. That is in the form of a color, right? So that color is explaining the fact that the enzyme which was bound to the antibody has now bound to its antigen and because that antibody has bound to the antigen, the enzyme will convert the substrate present in your kit and it is converting it into a colored product so that efficiency of the colored product will let you know how much of the antigen is present over there i'll discuss some more in my next uploading attachments thank you